Alright, hey guys, so as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a Shoujo Manga collection video for 2020. And I guess how I'm going to go about this is I'm going to do an overview first, and then I'll prop this on a tripod. That way you can kind of see everything a little bit better. Anyway, let's go ahead and get through the overview, and then I'll go ahead and put this on a tripod. And that's the third and final row there. I only have three rows worth of shoujo manga. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put this on a tripod, and then I'll go through in detail on which titles that I have. Alright, so basically I have this organized by publisher. So uh, the first one I have here is Nakayoshi Comics. And you can tell it's Nakayoshi from um, the middle here. It says KC. So as you can see here, it says Casey and Nakayoshi in the middle. That's how it was for the older copies of Nakayoshi manga. Now for the newer ones, they have it on the top here. As you can see here, it's the same logo, just it's on the top. That's for the more modern versions of Nakayoshi comics. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. First up I have is Doki Doki Tomaton by Koge Dumbo. You might know her work from Kamiya but uh, this is the limited edition for Volume 1. Then I have just the standard editions for 2 and 3. That's the complete series, it's only 3 volumes. Next up I have here is the complete series of Fiancé on Monster by Hanamori Pink. And you might recognize her work from Peachy Peachy Pitch. Nothing too interesting on the back there. Next up here, I have the complete series of Kodomo Janaikara. Volumes 1 to 2. And I have the complete series of Boyfriend. Volumes 1 to 3 by Yamada Daisy. And I have all of Himada Daisy's work here. Um, so I have All Due to a Hero, Volume 1, all the way to Volume 4, complete. I really like her artwork. Next up I have here is Koisuru Futugo To Megani no Blue. This is Volume 1, all the way to Volume 3. I'm still missing the last two volumes. Next up I have here is Yume Miru Angel Blue, Volume 1 and 2. This is the special edition, the sparkly logo. I still need to get the last two volumes. I have the limited edition volumes of Yokai Nabiluna, Volumes 1 and 2. I still need to get the rest of the series. Next up I have is um, Fukushima Hanukkah's work. I really like this author. And this is Kimi no Nero, Volume 1. And I have Ichinen Gokumi Ikimono Gakari. This is Volume 1 and Volume 2. And I have the complete series of Chocoleto. Let's go ahead and pull all of these out here. I like the artwork for this. This is actually the first manga series I was able to read on my own without any help. It's pretty easy shoujo manga to read. Then I have this cute little one shot called Petite Tenorikima. It's the four comma series. And then um, this section here, it's just a small section of Koro Koro comics that was not able to fit on my other shelf. I have Kidama no Gonjiro, Volume 1. I plan on getting Volume 2 soon. 
Next up I have here is Dangerous Jisanja. One and two. It's a pretty hilarious series. Along with Kidama no Gonjiro. And I have Donoraemon Volume 3. And then I have a lovely complex art book. And I have some plastic protectors on my manga, which is why it's making all that noise. I have Asutsuki Lily, Volume 1, Romantica Clock, 1 and 2, this is by the creator of I Shoot to Lose a Baby. I don't need to get more of this series. I have Fulmino Sagashite, Volume 1, and this is all Ribbon Mascot comics. And you can kind of tell which ones are the old one, and which is the new one. This is the older one with the three color bar. And the newer ones have the um, pink girl on top. Then I have Rock in Heaven, Volume 1. And Volume 2, another series I need to get more of. It's out of print though, so it's uh, pretty hard to find. So if I can ever find it at Book Off, I plan on getting some more of that series. Then I have Hio Koi, Volume 1, up to Volume 6. And then I have Volume 12, another series I need to get more of, it's really cute. And then these two books here are actually Furoku manga. So Furoku is um, like little extras that you get in the ribbon magazine, or any of like the shoujo manga magazines that give you what's called Furoku, as it says on that little heart there, Furoku. So these are both from Ribbon Magazine, and these are just a collection of several one-shots that were published in Ribbon Magazine. Kind of nice to have. So that's all for that row there. Uh, I'm going to move on down here to the second row, and that, that will be all my child comics. Alright, so this here is all my child comics. It's a full row. Chow. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Chow comics. Um, so first up here, I have Guard Me, Hold Me, Gyu Gyu Tomamote. It's just a cute little one-shot by Iwaoka Meimei. I need to get more of this author's work. I also have Mahiru no Nagareboshi, also by Iwaoka Meimei. Um, I, I've been trying to get a hold of volumes 2 and 3, but they're out of print. And pretty hard to find, so if I ever see them at Book Off, I'll pick them up. Then they have Kiranen Revolution, Volume 1, all the way to 14. This is complete. Then I have Koi Kagi, Volume 1. Still need to get Volume 2 to complete the series. I plan on buying it on my next Amazon.co.jp haul. Then I have Kochi Muita Miko, Volume 1. All the way to volume 27. Still need to get the more of this series. But I like that this is a Christmas cover. Pretty cute. And that pretty much covers uh, this row here. Uh, it's basically filled with a bunch of long series. So anyway, I'll move on down to the third and final row. Alright, so this is the third and final row. It has the rest of my child comics. And it has the rest of my ribbon mascot comics as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first up I have Hikari on stage. I was actually pronouncing the name of this manga wrong. I always thought it was Hikari-san stage. I kind of misread that O as a Sa. I'm kind of dyslexic, so oh well. At least now I know how to pronounce it correctly. I have volumes 1 and 2. Volume 3 just came out, so I'll be buying that. And my next Amazon JP haul. And I have Neko Hajime Mashita, Volume 1. This is a super cute series. I'm going to get more of that one as well. Next up I have a cute little one-shot called Neko Cafe Ni Oideo. Then I have Jun Isai, Volume 1. I only have one volume because I found this manga pretty difficult to read in Japanese. My comprehension of Japanese isn't that great enough to understand this one. 
is why I only have one volume. Um, but I do plan on getting better with my Japanese soon. Um, next up here I have Yokai Watch Waka Waka the Yonderful Days. One to three. It's, uh, pretty sure this is complete. Um, they haven't really made any more volumes since volume three and it's been a few years. So I'm assuming it's complete. Then I have Chippy Debbie volume one all the way to volume six. I need to get more of this series. It's super cute. I also have the fan book. 6.5. Next up, I have um, Machie Koyo Dobutsu no Mori, Tanpopo Murda Dayori. And this is by Morie Chikako. I really like her Animal Crossing stories. This is a one shot. Then I have this one by Morie Chikako, another Animal Crossing manga. It's a pretty large volume, so it doesn't exactly fit on the shelf, which is why I have it up here. And then I have uh, another cute one-shot by Mai Tanel called Kon Kon Honey. Really cute, cute little one-shot. Um, so this one here is Maho Chu by Yabuchi Yu. I really like Yabuchi Yu. Uh, volumes 1 to 3. Really like the artwork. And that's all my Chao comics. Um, now we're going to move on to the rest of my ribbon mascot comics. Just move this over here. Now I do only have one uh, Choo Choo comics series. And that would be this one right here. Sakura Zenzen. I really like the artwork for this one. Um, it's probably out of print now, so I probably won't be able to get the final few volumes that are left. It's an eight volume series, so I'm, I, don't, I don't know how I'm going to acquire the last volume because it's such an old old series. Alright, so now we're moving into the rest of my Ribbon Mascot comics. And to start with, I have CCC, Complete Series. You can also pronounce it as Choo Choo Choo. Pretty cute short series. And I have volumes 1 to 2 of Stardust Wink by Haruta Nana. I really like Haruta Nana's artwork. And then I have Zekyo Gakyu, volumes 1 to 4. I really like this uh, series here. I haven't acquired any more of it because it's actually pretty long. There's like 20 volumes or something. I do plan on getting more whenever I get enough shelf space, but for now I'm just stuck at volume 4. But this is by Ishikawa Emi. That's the author for this series. There's volume 4. And then I have Chokotan, volumes 1 to 11. Really cute little shoujo series. I still am missing the final two volumes, which I plan on acquiring in my next, in my next Amazon haul. Then I have um, Bokuwa Okami, another series I would like to get more of. It's really cute. Uh, the next up I have here is Hime Chan no Ribbon Colorful, volumes 1 to 4 complete. And that's all I have on this row. So I actually have some manga here that are, that are actually too big to fit on the shelf here. Um, so I have a Smile Precure manga, and then I have Doki Doki Precure, and that manga, and then I have some Dragon Ball Kanzenban, Volume 1, it's another tall manga, and I have Volume 2 of the Kanzenban Dragon Ball. I'd really like to get more of this, but it's so long, and I already own the uh, Viz Bigs. Um, I would like to own it in Japanese at some point, but I just don't have the shell space right now. So anyways, that pretty much covers my shoujo manga collection. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll be doing a video of my shonen manga up next, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Take care.